equipment we needed today should have already shown up, uh, but you need a ball, med ball, maybe some small weights. So let's get going here. First thing we're doing here is a Sphinx, a elbow plank, bouncing, jumping up to a plank, all right? And we're going to go for about 40 seconds. But what it looks like is this. We're here in an elbow plank. We got to jump, all right? You're not going to roll. No. Jump to a hand plank. We're going 40 seconds. We're jumping. Careful on the way down. Don't smash your elbows. That's 40 seconds. Should be going. Keep it going. Got about 10 seconds to go. Got 10 more seconds. Keep jumping those. And time. All right, so we've got a single leg squat into a jump. This is a single leg squat into a jump. And so what I'm doing here is I'm dropping down, down, not forward. Dropping down here, and I'm jumping. I'm gonna do 12 each leg. 12 on the right, then 12 on the left. Let's go. I'm gonna touch, and I jump. We're trying to be explosive today. So each jump should be a max jump. It shouldn't be a, you know, this. Each jump. You're going down, you're trying to explode and get everything out of that one leg as you can. If you start to run out of gas around number eight, what do you do? Stop. Switch the other leg. If you can do 12, do 12. All right, I'm probably not going to do them all because I'm talking. Mistakes I was watching, seeing people bend over. Look at this. Look at this leg. This isn't loaded at all. I'm looking for squat. Down. And then jump. All right. The other thing is looking for ways to modify. Going down. All right. I can't do it. What do I do? Put my knee on the ground and rest. Now I know I'm low enough. I'm low enough because my knee's on the ground. And then what do I do? Put my hands on the ground. Lift my knee up. And then get my jump. And I can come down, put my, lower myself, then I can jump. You want to take even more stress off? Come down. You can jump off both feet. That one's back there. I can push off that. Who cares? It's fine to cheat. Cheating is good. As long as I'm getting better. Right? And then, all right, I don't need that anymore. All right, well, now I can still, now I can do it from there. So, Modify whatever you have to do to get better. Now, if you say, well, for my whole life, I'm going to do that. That's not good enough. But for here, I'm getting better. Now, I can, I can start bringing this wood in here. I'm getting better. I can jump off. All right? Got a few more seconds there on that leg. Not something to rush. All right, so the next thing we're going to do are some Russian twists, but not the way you guys are used to doing them. All right, so Russian twists. We're going to use a med ball. I don't have a med ball. These are my kids' pajamas. Okay, I'm use pajamas here. Put them between my knees. Squeeze them. All right, I'm going to use a med ball. Squeeze it between your knees. If you got a dumbbell, use a dumbbell. Don't have a dumbbell? Close your hands. We're going to do some twists. Now, a lot of you guys like to just do this. We're going slow. We're going to twist the knees one way, dumbbell the other. That's one. That's two. That's three. This is the tempo. That's four. That's five. 
six. Oh, put that on the med ball. It's fine. That's seven. That just means you can twist further on your side. It's eight. Keep squeezing this. Squeeze something though. It's nine. It's ten. It's eleven. Now I saw myself cross my ankles. That is not acceptable. All right. Keep squeezing. Having to use your hip flexors and your other muscles. Keep going, keep going. And your hips and your abs and your legs to keep things together. All right, keep going, keep going. Should be about 18. If I got this in here and I start doing this, a couple things. One, it's easy to pull apart. Keep going, should be around 20. So I want here, I want you to have to keep it in. I want tight here as you twist. I should have about four more from here, from here, I'm holding, from here, should have about two more. All right, so now we're looking for a, if you've got a ball, if you get one of these, that's great. If you don't have one of these, get one of these. We're just doing a roll up with our hands here and roll down. I'm rolling up, I'm rolling down. Okay, I'm looking for 20 total. Don't have don't have that. Put your feet up on a chair. Alright? Get out of the chair, just keep your feet on the ground. Just roll up, roll back down. And raise your foot in the air. Roll up. So, down, I'm up. Keep those going. If those hurt your wrist like they do in mine, get a ball. Use a ball. Should be about done there. We've got some square one legged hops. So I'm gonna do a squat. One legged squat, the hands are gonna touch the ground. Here, I touch, I'm gonna jump forward. It's one. Touch, I'm gonna jump this way. It's two. Touch, jump backwards. Three, don't fall. Touch, jump it back this way. It's four. I do 12 on this side, so it's three squares. 12 on the other side, three squares. Right leg. If you can only do eight instead of 12, do eight. Don't let that foot touch. Now, if you're really good, foot next to your foot as you go, as opposed to that. There. Back. One more. And over. I'm switching legs. Run forward first. Go down and tap. Leaning forward, I'm dropping down. Keep my hands on the ground. Keep my chest open. So can't touch. Can't do it on one leg. What do you do? Put most your weight on one leg. Put your toes on the ground. Okay, this foot's on the ground. It's fine. No big deal. My foot's still on the ground. Who cares? I'm finding a way. I'm not doing a two-legged squat. That's seventy percent here. 30% here, whatever it takes. Should have about four more.
We're going to take a quick break after this one, so take your time on it. We got about a 30 second break when this one finishes, so don't rush through this one. Get to your position, hold it, hold it. Bottom leg's got to be strong. Hold it. Keep going. I'll do a few more. The ball rolled to the other side of my room. Gotta get a few in. When you finish it, you get about a 30 second break. And then we're moving on. All right, break's over. So we're moving on to uh, back to those Sphinx planks that we did earlier, what we're doing on our elbows to our hands. Now, if you've got a ball, you're gonna put your feet up on the ball. All right, feet are gonna be up on the ball. You can have your feet on the ball like this, or you can have your feet on the ball like this. Depends on who you are, how you wanna do it. Just you get your feet on the ball, all right? Drop down, and then you gotta roll back up. You roll down, and you roll back up. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a minute of these. You got a chair. All right, you got a chair. It's the exact same thing, except now one foot in the air, one leg in the air, one leg up. All right, keep it going. We're going one minute, one minute. It should be about 10 seconds in, go. I'll let you know at 30 seconds and uh, switch legs if you're on the chair. One leg up, adds that balance component in it. Kind of, kind of sucks. I with the ball, I struggle with the ball. All right, keep it going. That's about 30 seconds. Go ahead and switch. Now, the closer the ball is to your knees, the easier it's going to be for you if you got a ball. So, if I get the ball on my feet, it's going to be harder. And time. If you've got a weight, this is a time for a weight. Not a heavy weight. I've just got a little 15 pounder here. We're going to do some lunge jumps. Lunge jumps with a weight. If you don't have a weight, you're going to just going to go arms up. Again, important detail. This is not arms up. This is arms up word. Arms up, everything's in line. The head's in front of the arms. The head's in the hole here, boom. That's arms up, this isn't it, boom, there. If you got a weight, it's just gonna be holding the weight down at your side. We got 40 lunge jumps. Every time you go, it's an explosion. 40 of them go at your pace. But every time you go, you're going to launch up, jump to the other side. Ready, go. 40 in a row. 40, no breaks. Don't need a break. Explode. If you got weights, you can throw a shrug in the mix. Keep it going. Now when I'm on my side, please notice I'm not doing this with my knee. I try to land on my heel just to make sure that I'm getting out far enough. So when I jump out to my lunge, I like to go on my heel, just to make sure I'm getting my foot far enough forward. If I go toes, I tend to do that. So keep that in mind. 
Keep it going, keep it going. Those are pretty quick. Some people are still rolling there. Finish them up, finish them up. All right, we got some swimmer presses to a, uh, we going knees? Yeah, we're gonna go swimmer press. So arm up, leg up, I'm not gonna touch it. Arm up, leg up, touch it. So I'm over here, arm up, leg up, crunch. Arm up, leg up. Crunch, 20 total, 10 each leg. Get wrong. Swim up, crunch, reset. Now as you're going here, if your feet are together, it's really hard. The closer your hands are, much harder. You're probably gonna wanna be a little wider. Notice my hands aren't directly beneath me right now. I can't do it that way. Get up my hands out a little bit. Why? Because I need it. So I'm up. So if I could do it here, get it. Then you do it there. Keep those going. 20 total, 10 each leg. Keep it going. Still got some people wrong. Keep doing them. I don't want you to rush this one. I want you to take your time. Still got some people going. That's good. You can go from your elbows if you need to go from your elbows. Whatever you got to do. To get it done for you. You make the adjustments the way you need to adjust to be able to keep going and then you can progress the next time you got to do it. Now, if you have like a Frisbee, if you've got any of those furniture sliding things, that's great. Uh, I didn't put it on there because you don't really need one for this next move. But if you've got one, that's it works. We're just gonna do some push-ups with a hand slide. Push up the hand slide. These are gonna work. Uh, so I got my push up here. Go sideways. Or this hand's not gonna stay on the ground, it's gonna slide. Come back up. Now, if you got like a furniture mover, you can have it on that, it's a little, a little easier to slide. Or paper plate, you can sometimes slide a little easier. No glass plates, you'll be in the hospital. You gotta go from your knees, that's fine. Uh, I wanna go, let's go a minute. A minute, how many can you do in a minute? Let's go. How many can you do in a minute? You need to take a break. You gotta go from your knees, no sweat. I can go further from my knees. I can get my chest to the ground when I'm on my knees. Is that a bad thing? Nope, it's not, that's good. Good range of motion. All right, but I need to go for my feet. A minute, you need a break, what do you do? All right, here we go, back in. Got 10 more seconds. All right, that's time. All right, so we're just doing some glute bridges. I'm using a ball. I'll show you the chair. A lot of you guys have done this before. All it is is if you got a ball, heels are up on the ball. Look, I'm straight here. I'm not sagging. Here, I'm just going to roll the ball in, back out. Roll the ball in, out. Ah. I'm a little bit better at it, maybe raise a leg, fall in, fall out. But we're trying to keep a straight line from the knee to the chest. Don't have a ball. 
you got a chair. All right. On that chair. Listen, I'm going to have my butt a little closer on that chair. I will have a leg raised. I'm just going to go up and back down. Up and then back down. Again, I'm trying to get a straight line from my knee to my ribs. Here. And I don't want this. It's all curvy. Here, then back down. 10 each leg. If you got the ball, you're doing 20 total or 10 each leg. Let's control. If you're on the chair, keep your butt close to the chair. Get that line. Back down. Extend those arms if you have to. Feel that line. Straighten them out. Make sure your body's straight with it. Slow and controlled. You can explode up if you need to, I guess. Be in control of your movements. Looks like I got a couple more people still going. Got a couple of people I see uh, swinging and moving a lot. You shouldn't have a lot of movement there. It should be very methodical. All right, so the next move, then we get a little 30 second break. I'm using my kids' pajamas you left out. You can use a stretch cord, doesn't matter. You can use a t shirt, a sock, a towel. I don't care. We're going to do uh, a minute. Don't start yet. Uh, so we're in this bridge position here. Big chest, legs are up, arms are up. Here, I got to get my feet underneath my kids' PJs. Let me do the bridge here, open up the chest, bring it back up on top. One minute. Let's go. So I'm here, I'm under. Legs are up, I'm strong. I switch. Boom. I can go arms up and just keep them up if I want it. It's a little harder. From here, hold. If I want, I can go arms up. Bring it back in. Minute. Be in control. Flex the quads. All right. If your quads can't flex, your knees are bent. Flex the quads to make sure you're straight. From here. But I want to point my toes. Let's make my knees bend. Flex your feet. Pull your toes and your chin. Here. Here. Big chest, toes in. Here. Ten more seconds. You got a 30 second break after this. We'll take a minute. Because we can. And time. All right, little break. Peaches is a towel. All right, here we go. We're going to do a balance lunge into a press. You can use weights. Use a stretch cord. All right, how do you use the uh, stretch cord? I would be standing on it with one leg. All right, I'd be standing on it, and I'd be holding it in the opposite hand. All right, what I would do is I would I'm gonna go into a balance position here, balance position, and then I'm gonna raise my knee up, do a press, and that would be one. So I go to here, it's a balance warrior position. I'm running up, I do a press. All right. I'm going to do uh, 10 on each side if I've got a band. If I've got weights, I'm going to do 10 on each side with weights. Same thing, I'm just going to go down, bring it in to a press. Sorry, I didn't have my knee up. All right. Go to one leg here, knee up, press up. 20 total, 10 each side. You don't have weights, you don't have bands, cans of soup, all right? You just go with nothing. Find your balance here, 
come in, right? hold that position with more precision, hold it a little bit longer. You be in control of what you can control. With the weight. 20 total, 10 each side. Switching. I'm switching early so I can get it at least balanced. I know I can't do 10 on each side. So I'm going to make sure I get both sides. You should do the same. Now, if you're saying this is easy, do it with your eyes closed. No, don't do that. It's all down. Use a heavier weight. Use a thicker band. Have someone push you around, see if they can unbalance you. That one takes some time, though, so don't rush these. Just about everyone's wrapping up. If you're not wrapping up, start wrapping up. We're gonna do one of my least favorite things in the world. Some split lunges, so one-legged lunges with a ball or a chair or something. These I struggle with, all right? So I've got one foot on the ball. My other foot's gotta be out in front further. I gotta be able to just do a lunge in this position. All right, from here. Now, if I'm not using a ball, this is a chair. The chair's a little easier. You wanna make sure you pop out a little extra further on that foot when you're not on. Um, getting out a little further from here, I might put those arms up. I got. 10 per side or more. If you're like, hey man, I do these all the time. Well, guess what? You're doing 16 a side or 20 a side because you're awesome. All right, but otherwise, you're doing 10 per side on this, either with a ball or with a chair. All right, if those arms start to fall forward, fix them. Plug the thumb into the wall behind you. Make sure you get that front foot up far enough as you go. All right, I need my ribs. All right, so this next thing is weird. I'll demonstrate it on a ball, and I'm going to demonstrate it on the ground. Let me demo it before you try it. So I'm going to wait. You can go no wait. Hope I don't fall. What am I do? I'll roll this back a bit. So what I'm doing. Is a side plank on my elbow on the ball. So I'm sort of here with my arms. What I gotta do is I gotta roll to my side, get up on my elbow, arm up, come back, roll my other side. Now it's on my elbow, come back. All right, it's with a weight. No weight. Go. Up and balance. Go. Up and balance. Balls are money, guys. Say, I don't have a ball. Stretch cord or no stretch cord. 
wrap it around you. If you got a ball, just start. Stretch core here. On the back. All right. Go up, side plank, holding that stretch cord. Other side. All right, come down to my back, over to my elbow, up and hold that little tension. Back over. I'm gonna go a minute. Some of you may have already started. If you started, bonus time for you. You got a minute. Let's go. Ball's better. Ground's better than nothing. Ground with a dumbbell, better than nothing. Ground with a stretch cord. I like that better than, about, than dumbbells because you gotta balance both ways. But I like the ball. Ball gets the most. And it rolls too. It's soft, squishy. Doesn't hurt my back. Got a minute, keep going. 15 more seconds. Got five seconds. Time. All right. Med ball if you got it. If you don't have it, where are my kids' PJs at? Here they are. Pajamas. We're doing just push ups, as many as you can do. These are plyo push ups. If you're using a towel, t shirt, pajamas, you're just going to go from your push up on this side, go over to this side, go over to this hand. You got a ball, you switch your hands. I'm here, I'm here. We're going 30 seconds. How many can you do in 30 seconds? So get ready, we're starting in 10. I'm gonna go in PJs because I never inflated that ball. And I don't wanna break my wrist. All right, ready, set, let's go. Halfway. Three, two, one, time. All right. All right, two more moves and a break. We've got a lunge to a step up press. So similar to what we've done before, again, if you got weights, small dumbbells are fine. Do a lunge, and I'm gonna go from a lunge to a press. Lunge to a press. All right, we're doing 10 each leg. Got a band. It's not about being heavy here. All right. You need control. And step through. 10 each leg. Don't have anything. Why just do a brush with nothing? Get the head through the hole. If your head is coming here, it's not good. Get the head through, shoulder mobility, get the thumbs plugged in behind you. 10 each leg. I'm gonna do a few on this leg so I balance. Hold that balance position. One more move, we take a little break. 
We're doing a, a wide hands plank to a toe touch. You guys have done this before. I don't know what we call it. So I'm here. My hands are wider than normal. Let's come over and touch the toes. I can do it there. I can do it with my elbows. Okay. I can go elbows. Switch it to hands. We're going 45 seconds. How many can you do? Without falling down. Without letting your butt go up like this. Keeping yourself flat as possible. 45 seconds starts now. Coach, I can't do them. Right. Go to your knee. Go to your side. Touch with your top hand. All right. Go to your other side. Touch your top leg. All right. It's a lot easier. I can take a break here, right? So you can't do it. It's a modification. You can do it. You can do it. Do it from your elbows. There's ways to do it. All right, time. All right, you got a little break. We got a few more moves. And then I'm going to let you guys go surfing after that. Good day for surfing. Get out there safely, supervision in the salt water, in the sun. Get that vitamin D. And sodium chloride all over you. It's basically bleach. <clears throat> all right. Um, next moves. You got to wait. These are better with a weight. Not a lot of great modifications without a weight. We're going to do a row. Light weight. Don't injure yourself here. But you're just going to do a row and a press, uh, side plank and hold with a weight. And then so I can a row, then switch to the side. Hold. I'm not leaning back. So I don't have a weight. All right, well, do a push up to a side plank, press. Hold, leg raise. All right, eight each side. You're going to do eight in a row, one side, then eight in a row, the other side. 16 total, but eight one side, eight the other side. No alternating on this one. Keep them, keep them going. I have to go to school, Coach Dave, but thank you. Have fun. No, I don't need the push-up. If you want the push-up, even with the rows, you can do that. But I'm more interested in the row and the plank than I am the push-up. I'm more interested in the muscles of the back than the muscles from the chest. I think I'm like five and five or six and six. I'm not a hit, but. That's all I got, because I gotta get rolling on the next one. A few more seconds and you should be there. Got a couple of people still going. It's okay. All right, moving on. Here we go. We got some. There's a reason we weren't doing those push ups. If you did them, lucky you. We're going to do some single leg burpees. All right, so I've got one leg off the ground. I'm going to go down to the ground. I'm going to go through forward. I'm going to go down. Jump back. Keep this foot off the ground at all times. Push up. Jump back up. If you want to jump here, jump. That's great. It's all on one leg. Eight on one leg. And on the other leg. All right, single leg burpees with a jump. Eight and eight. Let's go. If you can keep your ankles side by side, that's a win. As opposed to letting your foot be all over the place. 
get that jump. Get the push up if you can. If you can't do the push up, get out, get back, get the stand up, but do the push up. Do the jump. Make it a max jump, eight, eight each side. Stand that balance. Keep going, should have about four more per leg. Hey, four more toes, sorry. Last move, coming up as you finish that. Almost there. Last move is a plank. Feet on the ball or feet on a chair. I'll demo them. It's just crunches. All right, so it's going to be feet on ball. I'm in a plank. I stay on my fist because I don't like my wrist hurting. Crunching in, crunching back out. Crunching in, crunching out. It's okay on this to let your head go down to get some more range of motion. All right, I got a chair. Same thing. Except I might be a little more vertical on the chair. Here, that one leg up. I'm gonna shoot. I got head down. I'm gonna bring it in. And then I extend. I'm gonna bring it in. And then I extend. All right. I got one leg up. Still bring it in. Shouldn't need a head. And extend back up. It's a weird position on chair, but. Oh, you guys got a month of nothing to do. Getting some weird positions. In the chair. This is the chair again. All right, how many are we doing? Four. I don't know, 20. Some on the chair. Then, crunch in. Step up. Step up. All right, keep it going. If you don't have a ball yet, good ball. Things are great. I've had this for many years. All right, that's it for the day. Uh, same time tomorrow. Use the same link that I sent all week long. Uh, I didn't feel like sending emails out every day, so it's that same link. It's going to get you in the room each time. That's all I got, and uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good day.